Good afternoon, my name is Tammy Bishop and I am the teacher for the Title I School Readiness Program. I have some information to share with you about family routines and how establishing routines can make things go very smoothly at home and your time with your family more enjoyable. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and go over some information about how to get started. Family routines are part of our regular day, and you probably have established quite a few healthy habits already for your children. These are a few times during the day where establishing a routine can make things run more smoothly. So your family may look a lot like these um, sometimes at dinner time, getting ready for bed, story time. It could also look like this. I know my house has had its share of refusals, arguing, silliness at the table. Having consistent routines in place can help to make your life easier and more manageable. So here are the some times during the day when family routines are important. During bedtime, having healthy habits to establish for sleep and cleanliness, so your bath time, showers, all of that. Learning and bonding time also can take place during your bedtime routine. Morning routines are those sequence of events that you need um, done in order for everyone to get to work, school, or daycare on time. Even if you're a stay home mom and you have younger ones at home, having a sequence to your day is still important um, to make things go smoothly. Meal time certainly is a time for routines because you want to have healthy habits regarding eating and table manners and family bonding time, just sitting together and talking about your day. Another time that is not really common to think about, but having routines regarding play and screen time is also important. Procedures for the materials that you can use to play, where you can play with them, how long, and then the cleanup time. There are a lot of benefits to having structure in your home. One is safety and security, and we'll talk more about all of these in, in detail. Um, another one is self-control and expectations, and then also establishing healthy habits and responsibilities. And these are the benefits that you'll receive when you um, tweak your routines. Maybe you already have some, and you can tweak them and make them a little more um, structured. So routines provide predictable patterns which help children to feel safe and secure. Knowing what comes next in their day um, and not feeling like they're in a state of um, constant surprise helps them feel a lot less stressed and secure. So self-control and expectations. So reducing negative behaviors can be done through the use of routines. Um, power struggles and arguments, tantrums, all of those are part of the developmental process um, of your child expressing their own feelings and emotions. But eliminating those arguments and the power struggles can be as simple as planning ahead for them. Anticipate the triggers and build in routines that will reduce them. So increasing those be positive behaviors can be done through using a schedule, which I'm going to talk to you about um, how to create a schedule for your home, timers, or um, some kind of cue that lets them know that it's almost time to transition to the next part of your day. And then practice, letting your child know um, what's expected during each part of the day and practice that together. Healthy habits and responsibilities. So I just put a, a caveat here, don't wait, start early. Um, routines help even the youngest children to feel independent and begin to take on healthy habits and responsibility. It may be easier to clean up after your two-year-old right now, um, but the longer you wait to set those routines, the harder it will be to establish. And I can tell you from personal experience, I have two children, um, my oldest and first child, 
we very much um, cleaned up after him. It was just, we, he was the only child and it was easier to do that and go on with the rest of our, our time together. Um, he now has the messiest bedroom and has always had the messiest bedroom the entire time uh, because it just wasn't something that we helped him to put into place. Where my, my second child, we, we did so very early on and um, she's a very great helper around the house as far as those routines go. So it just, it carries on for many years if you um, don't take the time to stress the importance of that. And don't forget, providing structure and routine during playtime can help to avoid things like sibling rivalry and boredom. Timers and expectations can be used um, to be helpful to, as well. Things like if you are structuring your time, part of your day is going to be outside play. The weather is getting nice, so you might have your children out with bikes and scooters and things like that. Sharing materials and setting a time limit for that will help with those rivalries. One child gets, you know, 10 minutes on the scooter and then switch to the bike and you take turns or the swing or, you know, whatever equipment you have outside that they might need to share. But the same thing works for inside um, toys. If you have popular items um, that are a constant source of bickering, then you can use, you know, timers to, to structure that. And also having some activities in your day that you are planning specifically for. Um, that avoids some boredom and saying, okay, from during this time to this time, we're gonna do a special activity. Um, and the kids will know to look forward to that. It might be baking together, or maybe it's a project that you're gonna do together, or you're going to the park or some, some specific thing to, throughout their day that they know to look forward to and knowing when that's gonna happen. But having some structure as to what kinds of play they will do will certainly help to avoid um, some problem behaviors as well. So first, pick a point to start. And these are the same um, areas that we spoke about earlier. So you may want to pick one that frustrates you the most to get immediate improvement. Um, or you might start with um, one that you think is really already going very well for you and you just want to tweak it a little bit. So where you start is up to you. Um, but these are, you know, the main, the four main areas of putting routines into your day. So you pick one of those and, um, you know, start to plan out what behaviors that you want to avoid. For example, bedtime being one of those. I know my daughter, for one, she had every um, excuse in the book for um, why she didn't want to go to bed. Things like, I'm starving to death, I need to go to the bathroom, I need a drink, you only read me one book. All of those um, avoidance, um, you know, statements can um, be put into your routine to avoid them. So my routine started to include bath, then a snack, then pajamas, um, a book time, brushing your teeth, and then your, you know, your snuggle time, all of those things can be put right into the routine and then all of the statements that they frequently say to avoid bedtime are already built into your routine and they really have no way to argue about those. So you know that the areas in your day that um, are not as smooth and you know which um, behaviors or which problems occur that you can think ahead. You're the adult, think ahead and and just think of ways to erase those, um, those behaviors for you. So here's the getting started part. So first is kind of thinking about which area you want to start with. Um, using a family schedule maker, and I'm going to show you a picture of a few in just a minute, to decide um, you know, what your day is going to look like. And having a picture representation for that for your, for your kiddos does help, even if they're little, that they can see what's coming next. And even if your day is changing and you've moved those pictures around, um, that will really help them to see what their day looks like each day. 
when you start with your specific beat, your routine, practice that one. You might even, especially bedtime is a good one, you might even use a timer um, during your bedroom routine and see how long it takes you to get through that routine. And maybe it's, you know, 15 minutes. And then write it down on a sticky note or on a whiteboard and say tomorrow, let's see if we can make it less. Let's beat the clock. And so you can make a game of it. Um, as part of your day. Morning is another time you might want to beat the clock and see if we can get through, um, you know, these items and be ready to go to school or daycare um, or your, your, you know, first major activity of the day. And then always knowing that you being flexible and refining those um, routines will be part of what makes things go even more smoothly. Date things like when you're going to grandma's or, um, you know, you're going out to lunch at a picnic or something like that. Those are all the things that were, make your day exciting and, and the kids will look forward to those type things. This is what a, a family schedule maker looks like. And I found um, these just by looking on Google. There's lots of different examples. You could have ones where the kids actually check off their day. Um, you know, one for morning and one for the evening, and they kind of check off as they do each of these things. Or you could have one, um, this one's just kind of magnetized to the refrigerator and it just tells which things happen. And I put a website here where you can look for some of those visual pictures. But uh, I personally like the magnet one because you can move those along for each day. You could even have the kids take them down as you go on to the next part and put them, you know, in a little baggie or something. You'll know that part of the day is done um, and they can see that their day is moving along. So I also wanted to make sure that everyone is aware that even if you do not have children, of school age yet, um, Harper County Public Schools does provide resources for children birth to five. So prior to the start of kindergarten, there are resources available to you living in this area. So if you go to our website at hcps.org and you navigate to the parent tab, you will see um, under the early childhood education, there are lots of different resources for you. And I encourage you to explore those so that you'll have the opportunity to see what may be of interest to you or, or need for your family. So I hope that you were able to gain some information about um, routines at home and um, had some of your questions cleared up about that. And as you are thinking about your routines at home, just think about the behaviors first and um, which ones are most frustrating for you and what part of your day is most frustrating for you. And then plan ahead. You're the adult, so you plan ahead for which um, routines you could put in that would avoid those um, behaviors. And the more that you practice and you stick to those routines, the more smooth that your day and your family time will become. Thank you for listening.